They are high-end luxury apartments that typically command top dollar. But now it has become a renter's market with deals to be had. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan looks into what is driving prices down and how it could benefit you. It's been a building boom that's changed the face of neighborhoods. Luxury apartment buildings soaring upwards, creating new meccas for a new class of urban professionals. But now that boom is petering out with oversupply. Too many units for too few prospective tenants. I think there's a temporary glut of rental units. I think it is definitely a renter's market. It was bound to happen. Answering the demand for upscale living, developers built an astounding 4,590 luxury apartment units in the city in just the past five years. But now vacancy rates are climbing while demand is dwindling. And with another 2,080 units currently under construction, buildings are offering an free month's rent to lure a shrinking pool of prospective tenants into renting. Now they can go from building to building and work one against the other to see how, that, how they can. It has become a renter's market where prospective tenants could play one building off another. And as more units come online, the sweeter those deals are likely to become. It usually increases from there. The concessions become uh, greater. You get two months free rent. You get two months parking. They start giving away different other amenities uh, that are, you know, support the property. Hiring at tech firms, PNC, universities, and hospitals fueled the growth of luxury apartment buildings, but now it seems that demand has been satisfied. Paul Griffith of Integra Realty Resources says there's an additional 6,000 units in the pipeline that won't be built unless there's a fresh new round of job creation. I believe that's the answer. I think we need to see the current pace of jobs continue in order to expect those apartments to be absorbed. These are some of the most desirable apartments that we see in our whole portfolio. An apartment like this two-bedroom, two-bath in the Highland Building in East Liberty can still command a monthly rent of $2,450. And despite the oversupply, Walnut Capital's Reboard believes demand will pick up again for these and more moderately priced apartments. You've run out of yuppies. I am very, very bullish on Pittsburgh. I think there's continued growth. I mean, look, UPMC is investing in two new hospitals. Pitt's spending $2 billion over the next 10 years. We're seeing corporations and other companies relocating from the suburbs here. Forget about even Amazon if they come. Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.